Why do people keep texting me? Yeah, I love you. See, my daughter loves me. My husband loves me. Everybody loves me. But boys are stupid. And they don't ask girls that it clearly they like. Thank you. Was it good? Are you okay? Do you have another question for me? Oh, you have never-ending questions. Oh, Lord. I am not a big dinosaur lover, but when I think back to, you know, the land before time, <laughs> I kind of like the long mix. <laughs> I do. I do like Rod Stewart. Brings to mind very many happy moments from my childhood. Touched him. Just putting it out there. Touched his wrist. In a concert. Yes, I did. Probably most students don't really care about that, but many mothers will be jealous. <laughs> it's true. Mothers all want to touch Rod Stewart. Or did want to touch Rod Stewart. Now he's kind of old. I'm Canadian, both sides of my family. My great-grandparents were Canadian. Now, on my dad's side, before they were arriving in Canada, he had an English, like British English, mom and a father from, well, my great-great-grandfather was from Poland. On my mom's side, it was mostly Ireland and some Czechoslovakia. So I'm a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I like red meat. I like mushrooms. Um, big fan of French fries. Salads and vegetables, you know, obviously you're supposed to say you like them, but I don't really like them as much. <laughs> but I do eat them. But I honestly, my ideal meal would be some red meat, some French fries, some mushrooms, and a nice glass of red wine. Okay, whatever you think looks really cool right now probably won't in about five years. So don't get anything permanent. <laughs> More is definitely better. Uh, you know, the whole, um, like right now, you know, the styles right now aren't so bad. They're actually not as, as uh, naked as they once were. Yeah, like whatever you're wearing now, chances are in five years you're going to be going, oh my, I can't believe I was wearing that. I have no tattoos. I'm afraid of pain. I couldn't let someone give me a tattoo. Yeah, like when you're, you know, six, you like the, you know, the, what do you call them, the schmurfs. You might have gotten a schmurf tattoo, <laughs> right? At six, at 20, you might get a, you know, whatever band you like and really how relevant is that going to be to you at 50. I cry, I cry basically at Hallmark commercials so <laughs> I'm gonna like lose it at any kind of sentimental, I'm not full of crying but I'm definitely, yeah I'm close, <laughs> I do the whole <laughs> thing, yeah. I'd like to fly, I really would, but I also like to read minds, yeah I think, I, yeah, I think I'd like to fly, I could see myself flying around, I could, I want like supersonic ability, I'm like that guy in the suit. Iron Man? There you go. Yeah, I am like going everywhere. And I kind of would like the suit too. And reading minds sometimes might be kind of disturbing. Yes, the other kid says, yeah, well, I'm in between. Actually, no, really. And I would be devastated. I'd be crying all the time. Sweet 16. I think we went out for brunch. 18? <laughs> don't remember. Not for those reasons. I just don't remember. 20. I don't remember any of them. Oh my God, I had a deprived childhood. I really don't think it was as big a deal as it is now. I think Sweet 16, like I think my parents did take us out for brunch. We went somewhere. And 18, they probably, we went out for dinner and had a drink. But it wasn't the, you know, kind of parties that my kids had. You know, my daughter was in kindergarten and she was invited to a party for these twins in her school and they had it at the Holiday Inn. <laughs> like, I was like, oh, they're not gonna have fun at my little house party <laughs> where the kids sit around the table and you go play. I had a bigger 40th birthday party, hall party. That was my parents and my husband thought it was fun to tell the whole world I was 40. Yeah. Yes, it was like really fun. Yeah. It was, it was really fun though. It was really fun. Just don't get it. My dad had this thing, I used to call it the slice of cheese. And then he sold it for like ridiculous amounts of money, but it was like literally this yellow thing with this black line. And I'm like, it looked like a craft single slice of cheese. And what did you see in it? I have no clue. I really, really don't. I get like the splotchy stuff, because at least that's colorful. Just these. You know, no, don't get it. It'll be okay when I'm terrified myself. The little lies I told my parents don't count. I mean, other than, like, you know, I said the, the protecting kind of big lie. And the old boyfriend lies, you know? Uh, why are we breaking up? It's not you, it's me. You know, that kind of stuff. I can swirl my tongue about. I'm not doing it on video. <laughs> but yeah, I think it was pretty weird. I don't even remember how I figured it out. Uh, like sitting on the, on the dock in the summer, the ocean in Barbados. I don't like water, I don't like any of those boats. I like the water, but not actually flying across it. Um, I like walks, pretty boring, eh? I like reading, fun, I'll be going out with my friends tonight and we'll be having fun.
Mm -hmm. Miss Murphy, she's crazy. We'll have fun. Ew, I'm not really good at eating or drinking weird things. That's Miss Schreier's bag. But the weirdest thing I've ever drank is butter beer. I know, I didn't like it. It was like... And then uh, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten, I guess, are raw oysters. I never could eat those little larva things you gotta crunch. It's just, I can't do it. No, I don't like the taste of weird things. There's this bowl presently in our staff room filled with these little green weird things. And every, keep, like, where are they coming from? No, we don't know who put them there. But people keep eating them. Miss Mather eats them. And I'm like, don't eat them. Miss Mather's like, oh, they're not so bad. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, who knows? Who knows what those green things are? They're like a little, like a seed, but like a cracker seed. Like in the shape of a seed, but like the texture of a cracker. And they're green, limey green. Yeah, no, not a good color green. See, I have issues with color too, apparently. All right. Thank you for... Thank you, gentlemen. I hope this turns out as well as you'd like it to. I'm, sh I'm not surprised if it does. You're ninjas. Did you know that you're oh, a ninja? Yeah.